Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 92, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. And I still <laughs> need to... <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I'll explain that in the in-between episode part of the live stream. Uh, just in case you didn't know, I live streamed the recording of this on Fridays at 6 p.m. 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, do, do come watch join chat see the future all right speaking of moving into the future we're about to move into the merchant quarters and uh see what fate befalls us there we, we've already had an interesting time at the starport um keep wondering if there's some way to pick up a couple of extra visas hello guys what's at the security terminal hey, what do you think you're doing this terminal is restricted oh. to oh. military personnel only look you sat there and left a terminal just sitting there. If I wasn't supposed to use it, it should have been locked. All right. Isn't that how that works? Queen Talia is a smart and capable ruler. I'm Captain Galisi, off world. Okay. If you want to pass here, I'll need to see your starport visa. <laughs> never, never mind. I don't need to go back to my ship right now. Maybe later. All right. Here's my visa. Everything seems in order. You're cleared to go. Why are these... Yeah, why are these visas necessary anyway? There are reports of Republic smugglers arming dissidents in the city. Uh -huh. Checkpoints have been set up throughout the city to prevent more civil disturbances. There are well. two types of starport visas. The type you have is an individual visa. Good for just you and any pre-registered staff and family that accompany you. The Office of Immigration also issued open visas. Hmm. How would I get an extra starport visa? Because of the Republic attacks, General Vaklu just announced that the Office of Immigration has been shut down. Oh. There have been a lot of edicts since the Republic launched an unprovoked attack on our space forces. No one can get starport visas anymore. Um. Can you make an exception? Listen, I wouldn't mind letting some of these unfortunates through, but regs are regs. Besides, some of my troops would like nothing more than to get rid of me to earn favor with General oh. Vaklu. Okay. Why does he want to get rid of you? Any officer loyal to the queen is found life oh, increasingly difficult. Okay. So far, all the officers we're in the middle of a, are still royalists, middle of a tiff. Many of our troops think Vaclu's hey, problem. right. I think he's right too, but he should respect the queen's orders. But if I break any of Vaclu's orders, I fear some of my men wouldn't wait for my court martial. <laughs> so what are they fighting about? The Republic and the Jedi brought many wars to our planet. Things were far simpler and safer when we were independent. General yeah, Vaclu about that. pressuring the Queen to listen to the will of the people and secede from the Republic. But Queen Talia is staunchly in favor of the Republic. Alright. That works. You're cleared to go. Oh, okay. Fine. I thought you were going to tell me something more. The Republic has spies and operatives that are causing havoc in our city. I'm just going to try and stay out of all the politics and do my job. Smart man. Oh. Uh -oh. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're mm -hmm. a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But for enhanced well, you interrogation? Can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so called Republic. One more word of reason <laughs> out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your I'm business. looking at three dead men yes, if you don't back off. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I, is I that a conversation a option? Not a spy. I'm not getting involved. What's going on? Do you have some sort of warrant? Sure, that never starts problems going. You got some sort of warrant? A warrant? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain mm -hmm. question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. Because that's never gone it wrong either. It was specifically either. meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. <laughs> uh, do you have any proof? It's an option. Why are you really taking him away? That's also an option. Journalists would be poor cover for a spy. They're not well known for their discretion. Oh, let's try it. This is just because I try and expose the web of lies that enough out of you. You sit on a throne of lies. Is more of an agent provocateur, <laughs> sent by the Republic to sow dissent in our ranks. Uh, 
You got any proof of that? That is classified military information. Uh-huh. <laughs> I could do the force persuade. You're violating the man's rights. Uh, so how many other journalists are being rounded up today? I don't have time to answer your barbed questions off-worlder. All right. Uh, let's try a regular persuade, because, again, I took the force persuade, so I have it. But I'm really trying not to lean on it, just because, again, the game is really weird and when that gets you light side points and when that gets you dark side points. Men, let him go. We'll be back with a court order. Then we'll take him to the barracks. And you, <laughs> you should watch yourself. <laughs> you don't want to be known for siding with people like him. Oh, come at me. I don't know how to thank you. I'm go ahead. Of visors now. Do Eventually that. Eventually they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Yeah. Thank you. That's why you should get off. Oh, hey, cool. I got some light side points. Um, listen, dude, they, 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 they are going to come back. Might you, uh, hey, you, you just going to walk off like that? Like, yeah, yeah. Get to your ship. Leave the place. Be gone. Oh, it's another tame critter. All right. Uh, how do we? Let's. I'm not supposed to talk to offworlders. Well, you're talking to me well, now, kid. Why can't we go home? Uh oh. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? Uh, what do you mean? My husband was killed by General Vaclu's troops. Uh -huh. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. Um... Alright, anytime it gives you a skill-based uh, conversation option, it's usually a good idea to take that, especially if you have a lot of points in that. So, um... I sense that you're not telling I told me something. You our story. Please, won't you help us? <laughs> Tell me the truth. No. Uh, let's go with the regular persuade. My husband, he was part of the ISIS uh, Council. Ah, okay. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His okay. views weren't always popular. Doesn't seem like they're Over popular time, right now either. He became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He. He tried to kill Vaklu oh. to protect the queen. Okay. The conspiracy was discovered, and he was shot during the arrest. Mm -hmm. What he did was wrong, and our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. All right. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. All right. I got a new journal entry. And I. What you about you, good sir? Someone used to adversity. <laughs> a cut above the rabble around here. I have a business proposition for you. Everyone around here begs mm -hmm. and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching how well they act out their lies or truths. It doesn't matter really. What does matter is credits, hard currency. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport visa. You won't oh. find a better deal. <laughs> what can you tell me about? Uh, yeah, let's start with the, uh, the, the not involved in that deal questions. Like, what can you tell me about the place? Ask someone who cares about that. Oh. Isis has suffered for many years. The strongest of us are accustomed to it now. Um... Hmm. What you gonna do with it? Does it matter? Truly matter? No. Actually, yes, it does. I have no sad story. I just know people who will pay a great deal uh -huh. for an open starport visa. The credits are your share of my profits. The visas are very rare. But I have a feeling you may come across one. Yeah, I'm gonna get going now. Alright, so I've got... A reasonably legitimate sob story. And somebody who's at least pretty straight up like, Nah, man. I'm going to sell these for credits. Um, Alright. Albite. What's the new news hologram say? In the Council of Lords today, Lord 
Rashil recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin mm -hmm. due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. A brilliant Without command. him, Lord Dashiel said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. Sure, that's one way to look at it. The Ithorian fleet has yet again pushed back estimates for when the beasts will be cleared from our streets. They claim that the blockade continues to hinder their progress. Not only has this posed a significant health risk, but there has been a rise of beast attacks in Iziz. Three attacks happened last week. Disturbingly, <laughs> there have been two additional beast Wait. attacks today. The frequency two? of the attacks has been growing. Where's the other one? The Council of Lords session is running late today as General Vaklu rallies his supporters to pass his amendment giving the Council the power to manage diplomatic relations with the Republic instead of the Queen. Critics say that this amendment is a thinly veiled attempt by General Vaklu to secede uh, very the Republic. Thinly. A supermajority of lords are needed to pass it. Political experts say that Queen Talia still has enough lords that support her to easily quash Vaklu's latest efforts. In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiel recommended a uh, without him. Okay, never mind. We're back to the beginning again. Alright, uh, up one side of the street and down the other, I guess? Because most of these guys are going to be, yeah. <laughs> the soldier just glares at you. Well, okay then. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? Hmm. Uh, Alright, let's start with the first question. First things first, why are there so many beasts in cages around? Athorians have been buying them to help rebuild Telos. I don't know why. But ever since they started, the Beast Riders have been crawling out of the woodworks to sell them animals. But the Republic blockade has meant long delays. And because of that, Beast Cages are filling up the streets of Isis. So, maybe get rid of the blockade? Alright, what's in the tower? That's an air defense tower. The hmm. city's filled with them. Isis is an ancient city. And for many generations, our main enemy was the Beast Riders that lived outside the city. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their Beast Riders. The, the Drexel? A Drexel is a flying beast. Oh. Huge creatures with teeth the size of your arms. Lethal Nasty. And skin like ferro-steel plates. Pointy teeth. Somehow the beast riders figured out how to tame them years ago. Hmm. Uh, what, can you, what else can you tell me about the beast riders? That's a long story. You sure you have the yeah, time? I got time. Most people don't care for an old soldier spinning a tail or two. All right. What you so got for me? likes history, huh? All right. Isis was formed pretty much at the dawn of our civilization. It was born out of necessity. Was there an obelisk? It protected us from the dangerous beasts that litter Onderon. This city is as old as our civilization. Most of our technology was invented to fortify these walls and protect us. For ages, our worst criminals were cast out of the city to an almost certain death. Hmm. It wasn't completely certain, though. Some of the criminals figured out how to survive out there. They learned how to tame the native beasts. And it wasn't long before they turned their attention to Isis. So, I, I get the feeling we really are trying to retell the tale of Australia. Or something like it. Alright, um, so why are they not enemies anymore? About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the Beast Riders, <laughs> Oren Kira. That was right at the start of the Beast Wars. By the end of it... That Gallia sounds like a queen, bad BTV show. Uh, are you still allies? It's hard to put aside centuries of conflict. Okay. There is an uneasiness between our people. The Beast Riders are upset that General Vaklu has forbidden Drexel and Isis. Citizens usually only see the fallen Beast Riders, who know hmm. better than thugs. Okay. Um... We got the Drexel, we got about the Beast Riders, what about something else? Certainly, things are quiet right now, I have some time. What do you want to talk about? You're an NPC, you have all the time in the world, literally. Uh, let's go with, there are a lot of soldiers around. These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some disagreements. Yeah, I might have heard something about that. Could you tell me about the troubles? What's the inside scoop? I've been warned from command to keep my opinions hmm. to myself on that. So I've learned my lesson. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. Uh, 
uh, you get in trouble? Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. <laughs> if you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times and it's not long before you're a civilian. I gotcha. Uh, so who else can I talk to? The politics of the day is probably the most talked about subject in the city. And everyone wants to share their particular view of what's going on. Opinions are like Giska around here. They breed like mad. That's one way. Alright, can we talk about something Gladly. else? Gladly. This is a topic I'd much rather avoid. Alright, that seems to be everything we can Stay get out, out of, of him. Trouble. Yeah, well, you know... Staying out of trouble, you see. Alright. I heard the Paragus mining facility was completely destroyed. What are we going to do for fuel? Yada 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 fuel. The Star Wars universe does not run on fuel. The Republic assaulted our space forces. Forget about secession, we should declare war. General Batlu's royalty too. I know a lot of people that wish he was king. Alright. Soldier just glares at me. All right. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? <laughs> no, I live here. Why do you think I was an off-worlder? No, no, no. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I am. But this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch <laughs> it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Uh, pr pretend he isn't here. Yeah, that seems. Uh, that, that that yeah. All right, let's let's start with the information. What can you tell me about his Isis? Is? Oh, everything is great here. <laughs> We're all very happy. Oh, very happy. I don't think I believe that. I don't even think I need the force to find out that I don't need. <laughs> I don't believe that. Okay. Uh, why can you so? Why can you only sell the people the Starport visa? General Vaclu is concerned about well-armed insurgents. Uh -huh. They've had to get arms from somewhere. Not for me, of course, but all sales of weapons have been severely restricted. I can only sell to off-worlders like you that have the proper clearance. <laughs> and now off-worlders can't come here because of the blockade and searches. But <laughs> it's a wise policy. <laughs> I bet. So you're happy about it? Yeah. Of course. Soldiers are only doing their job. Even if it uh -huh. puts me out of business, I am happy. <laughs> I'm happy to have Even the soldiers standing right here with the, the street, kneecap I am so adjustment happy to stick. Do my part. Long live General Vaclo. That reminds me. The next time we play D and I, I need to I need to play somebody carrying a club that that's labeled the kneecap adjustment stick. What do you sell? Large variety of weapons. My stock is very good. Uh, you might want to buy some before the general decides he needs more blasters. Then <laughs> weapon merchants like myself have the honor of providing them to him at a substantial discount. Even below what it costs us. Uh, we do oh. it happily or else. Or else what, Keg? Or else we are very unhappy at not being able to do our part. <laughs> I see how this is working. Okay. Um, listen. Obsidian. There's this thing called subtlety. It's missing in this conversation. All right. Uh, what you got in stock? Ooh, another big list. Now here's <laughs> here here's one of the uh, rather interesting problems. Uh, once once we end up meeting the Jedi Master. This guy is going to refuse to do business with us. So whatever we're going to buy from him, we need to buy before we talk to the Jedi Master. After that, he ain't talking to none of us. So uh, let's see what we can get out of this. See, now here's what I'm talking about. I've got this initiate armor already on myself. And... I wouldn't mind having a couple more sets because if you look in the description, you'll notice that, you know, defense bonus four. It's not good, but that's not bad. Max dex plus four. That, that's pretty good. Saves fortitude plus one. That's good. But the key part is right after that where it says does not restrict the use of force powers. 
So, so that would allow me to take some of the Jedi that I have equipped with robes that have very minimal defense bonus and give them a serious bump and not restrict the use of their force powers. Same for this armor too. Ooh, uh, defense bonus three. Okay, so basically I'm giving up a fort bump and one point of defense for an extra bump in persuade and charisma. Hmm, that's tempting. Although the only one who could really make use of this would be me, the main character, and I don't want the drop in armor or fortitude for that matter. Um, but that is very tempting. It is good to know that he's got that. I'm definitely going to go ahead. I'm going to buy both of his initiate armor so I can get those squared away for a couple more of the Jedi and my crew. Uh... Parts, parts are nice. I could use more parts, but I'm not sure at 200 credits. All right, ceremonial armor, nah. Combat suit, nah. Nope. Mm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Except I don't have the money for it, so I guess I'm not talking about anything. That would have been really nice though, because that's heavy armor with a defense bonus of 12 and a max dex bonus. Of one. Yeah, that's where some money would really come in handy. I need money. Um, uh, I already got rid of the lot of them. See, because the, the heaviest armor I had previously was the, this Mandalorian heavy armor or suit just like it. And it's got a defense bonus of 12, but no max dex. And that, that would allow one of my heavy armor wielding people to actually make uh, make some use of their max dexterity bonus. All right, eh. Um, ooh, do I need yet another one of those? That is a good question. That I'll have to figure out before we talk to the Jedi. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. So I'll take my chances and not buy that crystal just no, I'll buy it. Yep. I'd rather have it now than uh, find out I really should have bought it when I can't. Alright. That sword's no good. Uh, but no. No. Not bad. But. That's not bad. But. Eh. I can make that. I can make that too. Okay. Um, just for kicks. What do I have on the sell list anyway? Um, oh, that's right. I forgot that I had bought some robes at some point too. Hmm. And here's the other thing. I'm going to need parts to do some of the weapons building. And I could really stand to break down a lot of this extra junk for parts. Money or parts. Those are the choices in life. I'll use them for parts. Alright, so our very happy merchant. Uh, we've got at least the minimum. I'm actually kind of surprised he doesn't have a workbench around here. Usually there's a... Or is that one back in that corner that I missed? No, it's just some conveniently placed crates to uh, keep you from wandering too far in the wrong directions. Alright. What do we got coming up here? Hmm. Where do we want to go? Republic dissidents blew up an armory depot in the lower city. Oh. Backlash should do something about it. Did they? Or is that what the news said? Because I've seen your news service. I have some questions about their reporting. Alright. Um, I will head that way in just a minute. 
it looks like that loops around, so I'll go that way first. I heard the Paragus mining facility was completely destroyed. Yeah, I heard that too. Oh. You can't. S oh. We, we got to figure out how to get the blockade taken care of. Get those guys to be free and home. That looks like trouble. I'll come back there in just a minute. Let me finish, uh. Search. Oh! <laughs> I think I know what's about to happen around this corner. Alright, I'm slightly over time, but. Alright, let's make it happen. Unnecessary observation. You are eliminating many of us Jedi, no. but such actions only delay the inevitable, annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Oh. Recitation. And okay. Bring about the termination of hostilities. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's uh do this. Um Let's do this and do this and do that. And then we'll go from there. That extra attack in. That's what the flurry is for. Get them quicker. Failing, master. Done. All right, let's loot the remains. Droid plating. Couldn't have been that good. Oh, now we, now we got the blur from the speed bump. Again, I I love the extra attack per round that it gives you. I love some of the other bonuses. I do not love that weird blurry vision thing. All right. Oh, hey, we got a journal entry about something, too. So, uh, you have met two teams of HK-50s. One more will be able to give you the location of their factory. Ooh. Okay. All right. And, <laughs> and there are many citizens looking for visas. If you found one, you might have a difficult decision who to give it to. Yeah, yeah, if I found one. Alright, I gotta do something about that crystal as soon as I can find a bench. And was that it? Yep, oh, there's my starport visa. Don't lose this. The plating, that didn't seem to help. Uh... Ooh! Defense bonus of 10. I wonder if one of my droids... I think one of them could use that. Because I know there was somebody that I ran out of plating for. Okay. What do you think is still new? I just went through that whole list. Okay, fine. Fine. Alright. So, uh... Not bad. Found another HK group. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens in the next episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. 
go to live.anonjr.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.